Cause you're for the man What's up, YouTube? This your girl Kat, and I'm back with another video. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this copyright disclaimer uh, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. All right, guys, so y'all know how we do it. I'm going to go ahead and pop it off with the story that um, actually happened last year, and it happened down in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. The man that you see right here on the screen name was Jared Bridegan. He was 33 years old. And on the night of February 16, 2022, Jared was dropping his twins off to his ex-wife. But he was gunned down in front of his two-year-old daughter that was left in the car unattended. Before I go any further, if you guys are new to my channel, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button, okay? Go ahead and hit that like button. Show your girl some love, you know, since YouTube don't got that love button, we just gonna go ahead and hit that like, all right? So y'all go ahead and smash that for me too, all right? So tonight we're gonna be diving into how serious and, you know, um, cautious we should take when people show signs that they can be very dangerous, Okay. And the reason I say that is because what we are seeing playing out in front of our eyes between Latruth and his ex wife, Laonia, this is very disturbing. And I hate, you know, to even bring this up, but I wanted to bring awareness to this story and also talk about how she acts. So just stay tuned and listen up and let me know what you guys think at the end, okay? Um, all right, back to the story at hand. So we were talking about Jared Bright again. He was a Microsoft executive. And again, like I said, he was killed in front of his two-year-old daughter after dropping off his twins to his ex-wife. Jared was a father of four. He was newly remarried to um, his new wife, Kirsten. They had two kids of their own. But now the story is coming out. Again, this happened last year. Now everything is coming together where they're saying the ex-wife, her new husband, and a tenant plotted to execute Jared Brightigan. Again, this is one of the reasons why we are going to be discussing Laonia and how she needs to be watched and how Latruth needs to get a restraining order or, you know, something to that magnitude and basically just stop trying to be hard, uh, you know, on social media because this is serious. So this lady, Shanna Lee Gardner, the ex-wife, she was remarried and still bothered by her ex-husband's existence. Last year, she spoke on one TV interview, basically saying how she had nothing to do with it. She wished it never happened. And she basically showed um, a little bit of remorse, but not much, if you ask me. And just stating that she was very devastated because she had to break the news to her children. She wasn't devastated that he was dead. She was devastated because she had to break the news to her children. Hmm... To me, that seems a little bit suspicious, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so fast forward to now, because that was last year when she did that. Um, prosecutors are seeking the death penalty in this case. She has been arrested um, of last week. She has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder, conspiracy, solicitation, and child abuse charges. And just to give a rundown on actually what happened to Brodigan, he was dropping off his twins. Um, someone is not known at this moment, but they put a tire in the middle of the road, basically to where he had to get out of the car so that he could go around it. Once he got out of the car, 
they executed him. They shot him multiple times. And again, like I said, left his two-year-old in the car, just waiting until another passerby came by. Uh, it said that she was in there for maybe about three to five minutes, but honestly, I don't even know how they know that. Um, the two were in the midst of a terrible custody battle. So again, like I said, with what's playing out in front of our faces with the other um, social media couple that's going on, this is probably going to go somewhat that way because I know that the truth is going to want to see his daughter. I don't know how Laonya is going to act behind that, what she's going to agree to, but hopefully they can go come to some type of agreement to where it will not ever get to anything like this. So altogether, Shanna, her new husband, and um, also a tenant that they knew go by the name of Henry Tanan. Um, they all have been arrested and they all are being charged with first degree murder, um, conspiracy solicitation, and again, uh, child abuse charges because, you know, the child was left unattended. This is definitely going to be a story that I'm going to keep following um, until everything comes out and until, you know, the investigators find out everything that they need to know um, and to see if the ex-wife will get off. You know, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. But I'm definitely going to be following it. So back to um, La Onya. All right. So this is the reason why I brought this up, because it was a post that she posted a couple of days ago and it's definitely gone viral. Everybody has seen it. People are saying that she's spiraling out of control and the list goes on. So basically it said, I'm so sick of hearing about what this clown has to say. You are an abuser and was an abuser. You deserve everything happening to you. Y'all don't tell me shit else this clown nor his clan says about me. F them all. Do y'all know what the F abuse is? Being dragged across the floor, the F and floor is abuse. Being choked is abuse. Hmm, I ain't never heard that one. Taking phones and car keys and my money when I wanted to leave is financial abuse. TF. Yelling and calling me bees while I have my daughter on my hip, busting down doors and even kicking me in my back and throwing Kool-Aid on me is abuse. I don't got to explain ish to nobody, but this mother effer should have been canceled. I've been quiet for long mother of effing time, but I'm sick of this clown playing the cancer victim card. You were abusive and making these women bully and harass me is another sign that you're psycho. Leave me the F alone. I moved on. Why the F can't you? I'm sick of you. I wish you didn't exist. All the things my kids saw, they are in counseling for, for healing. And every day you incite your clowns to come after my kids and bully them as well. You're a deadbeat. You're not a good father. Now carry the F on. Don't mention me or post my pictures anymore. Narcissistic, abusive, A, get a F in life. Now, I don't know, you know, what caused her to spiral out like that. Um, but to me, that's off the chains. And a little bit over the top. Like, for a per for you to let a person let you get that mad and angry to where you go and write all of this and post all of this, um, it shows lack of self-control. And it shows manic and anything else up under that. Like, I don't know. It's, it's to me, it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm here, you know, they just recently finally got divorced. So that's over with. Um, and hopefully they can come to an agreement with the custody because whether she likes him or not, that's still Amora's dad. She still is entitled. He still is entitled. They are entitled to see each other. Um, I don't agree with him, uh, you know, causing any harm or anything. I've never seen that to her. So he should still be able to see his daughter. Now, considering what happened in Florida to the Microsoft engineer, Jared, what are your thoughts on La Onya and La Truth? 
Y'all, let me know what you think about this situation. Do you think that she could possibly, you know, go to the extents of being, you know, how evil and conniving that this lady was? Or do y'all think that everything will be okay, copacetic in the future? I'm hoping and praying so, but I just wanted to um, put this video out there because it just shows how she acts. It's just, it's out of control. It's out of control, in my opinion. So anyway, guys, go ahead and um, drop down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I really appreciate anybody um, that comes on and states anything. I like the engagement. Again, let's go ahead and have a conversation. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and hit the notification bell on your way out so that you'll be notified the very next time I drop another one. All right? This you go, Kat, and I'm out. Until next time. I got too many hoes. I can't hang you.